now let's see the next question next question we have so the diagram shows a uniform meter rule weighing 100 gram force the weight of this meter rule is 100 gram force which is acting at the center so at the center o so this is the o and it is a center two weights and this is pivoted at o weight is act acting at the center so weight is acting at this point that is 100 gram force so this question is lengthy but it's actually easy two weights 150 gram force and 250 gram force hangs okay from the points are given oa is given as 40 and ob is given as 20 so now we have to calculate the total anti-clockwise movement about o total clockwise movement about o difference between the clockwise and anti-clockwise movement the distance from o where 100 gram force weight should be placed to balance a meter rule okay so now we have to see the question first of all we have to calculate the total anti-clockwise movement so just go with the simple part who is creating anti-clockwise movement 150 gram force is creating anti-clockwise movement just see yes because 250 the creating clockwise so 150 gram force so anti-clockwise movement anti-clockwise movement i got force into perpendicular distance force in this case is 150 and perpendicular distance in this case is 40 okay so this is the movement of force about o so multiply it 15 4 60 and two zeros we got gram force centimeter okay so this is my first answer so anti-clockwise i have already written and it is positive so next part we have so remember this value 6000 gram force centimeter after that we have to find the total clockwise movement about o so total clockwise movement who is creating clockwise movement 250 is creating so clockwise movement clockwise movement i have how much 250 force and perpendicular distance in this case is 20 centimeter so i got 20 into 50 and two zeros gram force centimeter okay so this is my next part so now here i have already written clockwise movement so if i it if i have written clockwise movement then no need to put the value of negative when we just uh, taking the grand total then we take the negative sign so now we have to see the difference of clockwise and anti-clockwise movement so difference of anti-clockwise first so anti-clockwise movement anti-clockwise movement minus clockwise movement okay clockwise movement i am not writing clocks full so now just see anti-clockwise movement value of anti-clockwise movement we have 6000 and clockwise 5000 so i got 6000 gram force minus 1000 okay 5000 gram force so here I got 1000 gram force as a value. This is actually a resultant because clockwise movement we always taking negative. So this is actually a difference in the clockwise and anti-clockwise movement. Next part we have the distance of O where 100 gram force weight should be placed to balance the meter rule. So where should the 100 gram force be placed in order to put so that we got a balanced rule. अब इस 100 ग्राम को कहां पे रखें जहां पे मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स की वैल्यू कम है किस में कम है सो इन द राइट साइड एंटी क्लॉकवाइज 6000 है तो यहां तो रख नहीं सकते वी हैव टू प्लेस इन द 5000 वैल्यू मींस ऑन दिस साइड बिकॉज़ दिस इज क्रिएटिंग 5000 क्लॉकवाइज सो यहां पे कोई एक्स डिस्टेंस पे ये रहा 100 ग्राम फोर्स और इसको एक्स डिस्टेंस पे रख देते हैं नाउ Again, same thing. Anti-clockwise movement is equal to clockwise movement. Once right, otherwise student will say. Anti-clockwise movement is equal to clockwise movement. Okay. So, who is creating anti-clockwise? 150 into 40. And clockwise movement, we have 100 into x. And 250 into 20. One minute. 250 into 20 so this I already know 6000 this I already know 
how much 5000 so uh, minus we got 1000 is equals to 100x so this two cancel out so x i got as 10 centimeter okay x value i got here 10 centimeter so what do you have to write where the distance from o so we have to place the 100 gram force as at the 10 centimeter on right side okay on right side from o this part is clear i think so